14 personnel inside zone dive. DJ is the fold guy. The C gap comes open and he meets Stewart with his helmet on the football. Tight bunch open, cover one. All the bunch wide receivers down block. So DJ is the step replace guy and he comes in to make the tackle. Gun 11 twins tight cover one man to man versus Fitz. He runs an out route. DJ stays square and patient and he breaks on the downhill to get the PBU. He also was smart enough to know the splits and down the distance to break on it. Empty cover three. DJ has deep thirds or anything that he feels that he can break in with on and he does just that to get the PBU. Bop, bop. He chops down when a wide receiver chops down and he comes in to make a play. Base trips close, man to man, halfback dive. DJ knows it's not a pass, so he gets his eyes around to come in and assist on the tackle with Frank Gore. Base twins tight X motion, 36 counter, aching down block, so by rule, DJ has to step or place, and he does his job. Nothing more, nothing less. Empty man to man versus Dawson. Dawson runs a slant. DJ does a good job with his offhand jam that gives him separation to undercut it for the PBU at the last second. Base 11 cover one seven yards outside leverage of Jeffrey. DJ does a good job of getting his butt square at the snap of the ball and reading his hips and planting downward at the upfield shoulder for the PBU. Base tackle over unbalanced 13 personnel heavy run alert. Burton down blocks. DJ feels it for the cutback to make the tackle. Straight tight open, cover one robber. DJ does a good job of flipping his hips to drive down on the reverse pivot stop route for the PBU. This is an extremely hard job for longer corners to get in and get out of their breaks. Base 13 personnel, DJ is in a banjo call. He sees this as a run, so now he's just reading and reacting off of AP. He didn't bring him down on the first try, but the second effort gets the job done on all day. Base 13 personnel, same exact thing. DJ has anything that comes to the D gap. AP doesn't come to the D gap, so he just chases him from the backside to make the tackle. Base tray up formation. DJ is on a cat blitz, aka corner blitz, on the backside. It wasn't as effective, but he assisted in to make sure AP wasn't going anywhere. Base tray up formation. DJ has the D gap run responsibilities. He does a decent job to force Peterson back in, and now he just does a good job of spinning off of the block to make the tackle. Base 21 personnel, DJ is King Ellingson. Ellison does a seal block, so now he uses his FBI football intelligence to now know that he becomes the cutback player to make the tackle. Base tackle over unbalanced 13 personnel, heavy run alert, Graham down blocks, DJ fills it and brings Lacey down for the tackle. Guns trips tight, cover one, DJ does a slow read step and he eases out of the break on the top field shoulder of Nick Van Nett to drive on the stop route. Good job. Guns twins tight inside zone. DJ sees it's a run, but he doesn't get fooled by the motion at the snap of the ball. And now he just comes up to be a playmaker to make a one-on-one -on -one tackle against the running back Howard. Base 12 unbalanced heavy run alert. DJ is King Lewis zone block. He becomes the cutback guy and he does a solid job to get four net down on the ground. Same exact formation, same exact results, but a better form tackle by DJ to get the big baby, aka Booger Nation from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, down on the ground. Gun Stagger Twins cover one. DJ is a little slow to react, so he end up trailing Cole on the shallow route, but he doesn't quit and he end up being at the perfect place for the right time to get the pick six or aka better known as the 1-800 house call. Let's say it again, 1-800 house call. There you guys have it, DJ, aka Dante Johnson. Um, I believe, with, oh, yeah, 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 excuse me. He made the 53-man roster. I'm bugging. He made the 53-man roster yesterday. Um, I believe it's a solid um, decision by the Seahawks, especially with Byron Maxwell being out. Um, I think he's going to take full advantage of the opportunity for now. Um, he's the typical long corner that the Seahawks like. He has experience. He's not a rookie. He knows what to do. And if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and also check out the link, uh, uh, well, the article in the description box below. Or just go to www.fieldgoals.com. Peace and light. Stay dangerous.